Now it's time to talk about the editor. Programming involves a lot of typing, and depending on what sort of editor you are going to use, it might be easier or harder to complete your project. When it comes to the programming editor, there are three options. In its most basic form, command line interface, and it's built in editors such as Nano or V on Unix based systems. You've seen earlier we've been using Nano Editor in Terminal to set up virtual host. Unfortunately, Windows does not come with any built-in CLI editor, but you can install one if you need to. Second option is to use any simple text editor such as Notepad on Windows, Text Edit on Mac OS X or Get It on Linux. Both CLI and Text Editor option will work just fine, but the most common and easiest way to program in any language is to use its dedicated Integrated Development Environment, IDE in short. IDE comes with a bunch of very useful tools such as source code editor, built-in automation tools, debugger to quickly identify any errors in our code, code autocompletion, and you will see this being used a lot during this course, and many more. Let's have a look at a few most popular IDEs for PHP, which work on all three platforms, Windows, Mac OS X and Linux. The first IDE we are going to have a look at is PHP Storm. This is my favorite IDE, and I'm going to be using uh, this specific one during this course as well, so you can have a look at how it's working. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be using all advanced features during this course, but at least you'll have a quick uh, view on what sort of basic features you can use with this specific um, IDE editor. Uh, to uh, access PHP Storm, simply go to jetbrains.com and then you can go to the download section. It's not free, unfortunately, but it comes with a 30 day uh, trial. If after 30 days you decide that you love it, then obviously you can go and, and purchase the license. Next one is going to be Eclipse. Uh, you go to eclipse.org and then you go to the download section. Uh, this one is a free uh, version, so you can use it without actually spending a, a penny on it if you want to and again it comes for all three platforms if you scroll down depending obviously on what uh, sort of platform you're on we are looking for the eclipse for uh, php developers and then you've got 32 or 64-bit version the next one also free is netbeans uh, you go to netbeans.org and then if you click on download button you'll be presented with a few options. Again, if you scroll down, you can see there's an option for HTML5 and PHP. You can click on download button and download the, the free version of NetBeans as well. The next one is a Sublime uh, text. Uh, this one also comes for all three platforms as I've explained earlier. Uh, again, uh, it comes with a trial, but if you want the full version, obviously you're gonna have to uh, purchase it. Next one is going to be Komodo. Uh, again, all three platforms, and again, that this one isn't free either. You can check the pricing and different licenses, obviously, for depending on what you are going to be using it for. There are many more IDEs out there. If you try and Google IDE for PHP, you'll see a whole long list of different IDEs available for PHP. Download a few, install on your computer, try them, see if it works for you. If it works, great. If it doesn't, go ahead and try another one. Choosing IDE is a bit like choosing a new car. You're only going to enjoy the ride if it's in a car with all those gadgets important to you. Otherwise, it will simply be another form of transport. So go out there and do some research to find the right tool for your coding. For the time being, however, because it might be a bit overwhelming at first, why don't you simply download and install the 30-day trial of PHP Storm to follow along with the examples in this course?